Hey guys and girls, I hope you're doing super great. This time I'm gonna take you with Myra and myself to a casual shoot we did the other day with this lens, the Tamron 17 to 28 f2.8. I've been super excited about getting this lens and I only got it a few weeks ago and only last weekend was I able to really try it out. Coming from the famous Tamron 28 to 75, which I'm shooting on right now, it's a super popular lens. A ton of people own it. I think this lens is a great companion to this lens, a great addition to the kit. As soon as I put this onto my camera, I was blown away by how much you can fit into frame. And taking pictures and video with this lens is really interesting because it really gives you that wider perspective, that signature wide angle look that you can't get with anything else. So yeah, I'm really pleased with how the pictures turned out. And again, it's just a casual photo shoot, nothing special. We just went out there into town, no planning, no nothing. And we just took pictures wherever we thought things would look interesting. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Our first location is right in the center of Leeds, UK. There's this really cool building that somewhat reminds me of the Flatiron building from New York, although not as glamorous. Since I'm shooting at 17 millimeters, I can easily get Myra and the building fully in the shot and with some room to spare for that 4x5 crop for Instagram. Because it's during the day and there's so much light out there, I have my camera fixed at a shutter speed of 1 over 640 and the ISO set to auto, hovering at around 200. As you'll see later in the video, I completely forgot to readjust these settings for a good while. Our next location is not too far from where we were. Again, this is just a casual shoot and we found this really nice, cool looking green door and we thought why not just try a few shots here. Because I'm shooting at 17 millimeters, I can get very close to Myra whilst keeping her full body in frame and that gives it that really distinctive wide angle look. As you can see in this shot, because her boots are so close to the lens, they are distorted and look a lot larger than in real life, giving the photo that distinctive wide angle look. Myra tried experimenting with different poses and we got this shot which I think looks really cool, really unique and I'm so happy with it. All this time my shutter speed was still at 1 over 640 which was my mistake, I should have lowered it to around 1 over 100. On this shot I decided to try the lens at 28 millimeters just to try and compress the background a little bit and make it a bit more blurry, although that really isn't the purpose of this lens. And as Myra was walking towards me, these couple of shots were taken using burst mode on the A7 III. I would say from the limited time using this lens, I think aside from landscape photographers, it's an ideal lens for travel and lifestyle bloggers just because of the field of view it gives you and how much you can fit into frame. So let's say you want to tell a certain story to your audience, this lens can make that a whole lot easier. And luckily at this point I had already corrected my shutter speed settings.
For this next shot, we really wanted it right in the middle of the bridge, very symmetrical, but it was pretty difficult because we had a lot of people crossing all the time and we would have like a very limited time to snap the shot. Luckily, I was able to cover up some of the people who were coming towards us with Myra so they wouldn't really show up on the picture. Now for the last couple of shots, we went to the middle of the bridge and framed the view of the background right in the center to have those leading lines from the building line up nicely. Um, in this occasion, I got closer to my subject, but always keeping her face away from the edges to avoid distortion. And that about wraps it up. I really hope you enjoyed that session. So what do I think about this lens? I think this lens is definitely gonna have a good place in my camera bag. It's a good complement to the already good Tamron 20 to 75. I definitely needed something on the wider end of the spectrum. Again, this lens is not really designed for portraits, at least not portraits that involve the subject being close. And especially at 17 millimeters, you don't want to get close to your subject's face because you will get really, it will get really distorted and it's not going to look very flattering. But if you want to capture the, their entire body and capture a whole scene, I think this is a great lens for that. Also, as a wide angle lens, when you get close to any object, it really exaggerates the size. So you get that really distinctive wide angle look. What I'm really excited about with this lens now is trying it out for some hyperlapses. I usually shoot my hyperlapses with my Tamron 28-75 at 28 millimeters, which is wide but not as wide as 17. So I'm pretty sure I'll get a lot smoother hyperlapses and it will be a lot easier. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. Do you already own this lens? Are you thinking of buying it? What's your opinion on it? And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. See you in the next one.